everyone, I'm Caroline Kelton. I'm here with Pocket Pets or OSU Marketing Team 15. Today we're gonna to be doing some interviews of pet owners deciding why they got a pet and you'll learn some cool insights about that. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back. Our first interviewer today is Lily Vanderberg. Welcome, Lily. <laughs> two pets why did you decide to get these pets um so i first decided to get these two pets because um i had a yorkie for a while mm -hmm. she had lots of tumors um mm -hmm. it was it was a really difficult situation yeah. um she eventually passed away mm -hmm. she was a great family pet um <laughs> and we just knew we needed we needed another yes, so yeah. we decided to adopt Bo and luke which are complete mm -hmm. opposites of Belle, the yorkie um, but they are gentle giants. Mm -hmm. They're the best dogs. What are the dogs are these? So they're actually mutts. Okay. Um, but we got them DNA tested uh -huh. last Christmas. So we know what kind they are now. Um, they're German Shepherd, Lab, Golden Retriever, and Pitbull oh. mix. Wow. So yeah, it's a lot, but yeah. they are perfect. Where did you adopt them from? So we actually didn't adopt them from like a humane society or, mm -hmm. society or anything. We went to, one day we were going to a furniture store mm -hmm. and there was this guy outside with like 10 puppies in a box. We were like, oh, like, like what is this all about? Yeah, yeah. And he said he found the mom and didn't know she was pregnant. And then she had 10 puppies. So obviously he didn't know what to do with them. Um, so they were free. Wow. And yeah, we decided to get two because we didn't want to split them up. Yeah, that's so admirable. Thank you. Mm -hmm. thank you. Well, thank you so much, Lily. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome back. And our next guest is Camry. And she's here with her cat, Poppy. Woo! <laughs> oh, so how old is Poppy? Poppy, we think is about seven months old. Wow. Um, yeah, she got rescued from the wild and um, just with the Humane Society, they said, we're just gonna go ahead and guess. And you know, when they got her, I think she's maybe a month old. Um, so yeah, we think she's about seven months now. Mm. Was that the Humane Society in Stillwater? Yes, it was. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, can you talk a little bit about your experience with them? Yeah, the human, the absolutely, them absolutely. So we, when we first went into the Humane Society, we didn't know whether or not if we wanted to adopt a dog or a cat, just kind of wanted to look around and see our options. And um, we walked into the cat room where they were being held and they were, I mean, you know, sometimes you go into a humane society and like, this is just kind of depressing. It's just, mm -hmm. you know, these animals are being held in cages or whatever, but um, going in there, they were very comfortable. They had um, a great space in their kennel. Um, they had a hammock to lay on, they had blankets, they had their food, their water, and um, they had toys, you know, their litter box kind of all in one space, but um, it was a great time. I mean, they seemed to be a little comfortable, of course, a little, you know, hesitant with mm -hmm. their surroundings, but overall, I thought it was a very comfortable space. Good, good. And how many animals do you have? Two. So, yes, yes, yes. So um, Poppy has a brother named Ollie and they were rescued together and they were also in the same kennel because they knew that they couldn't be separated. So yeah. And how do you deal with them being home together? Do they have to stay together a lot? Or? Um, it's really interesting watching them interact actually. Um, so they are pretty individual animals. They have their own personalities. Poppy is, you know, oh, there she goes. Um, <laughs> is a pretty independent. She um, likes to do her own thing. Um, Ollie, he's very adventurous. Mm -hmm. He really likes to get into stuff that he probably shouldn't be getting into. But when it comes down to it, they love being together and you know just playing. And you know even sometimes you'll hear when one of them is in another room, they start meowing until they find the other one, which is actually wow, pretty cute. So, so cute. yes, very very cute. Well, thank you so much, Cam. Yes, you're so welcome. Thank you for having me. <laughs> and our final guest today is JC. Welcome, JC. Hi, hey, thanks so much for having me, Caroline. <laughs> thank you for coming. So, JC is here today to talk to us about her experiences with Puppy Haven. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so um, actually we just, uh, I think it was about three years ago, we rescued my dog, Arnie, from Puppy Haven Rescue. And 
Puppy Haven Rescue is uh, located in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and it's a nonprofit organization who um, rescues dogs and all kinds of animals, as a matter of fact, who have been neglected or uh, not in the right home or just been found in the wild, and they're there to help them and give them a home whenever uh, they're looking to find their forever home. So it was really uh, cool, and everyone there was so kind, and um, that's where we found our sweet little Arnie. So. Mm. And had you had a dog before? Yes, so I had had a golden retriever before Arnie, and his name was Chief, but um, he passed right, um, I think it was like four or five years ago, or four years ago, and mm -hmm. so we knew having a dog in our home was just something that our family loved so much, just because it's um, so much happiness and joy just to have a furry little friend around, so yeah. But we didn't rescue Chief from Puppy Haven, but mm -hmm. we heard about Puppy Haven through Facebook, and we saw some ads, so mm -hmm. we thought we should give it a try. That's awesome. Well, yeah. thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Great having you. Thank you guys. <laughs>